and today we're going to be adding mixed numbers. So I want you to uh, get out your notebooks and title your page Adding Mixed Numbers. We are going to go through four steps that you need to write down in your notebook on how to add mixed numbers and then we will do some practice at the end. So adding mixed numbers is very similar uh, to adding regular fractions. So we're going to go through these steps and um, look at an example. So let's start with step one. Step one would be to take your fractions and uh, find your common denominators. And rename your fractions. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's take the problem 3 and 3 fourths plus 2 and 2 thirds. From what you can see, we don't currently have common denominators, so that is our goal for step one. So you're going to look at your denominators 4 and 3, and we're going to think of what is a a uh, common multiple that we can um, have for both 4 and 3. So the first one that comes to my mind is 12. I know that uh, 4 is a factor of 12 and 3 is a factor of 12, so we're going to use 12 as our denominator. I'm going to go ahead and just write 12 over here and 12 over here. I know that's my goal. So what should we do to the 4? What do we need to multiply our 4 by to get to 12? We need to multiply it by 3. And in our previous videos, we've known that if you multiply the denominator by 3, you also have to multiply the numerator by 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom down here. 3 times what gets me 12? 3 times 4. If I multiply the denominator by 4, I have to multiply the numerator by 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Now, I'm forgetting something very important. I need to remember to include my whole numbers as well. So I'm going to move the 3 over, and I'm going to move the 2 over, so I do not forget them. Okay, so now we have our common denominators, and that is the end of step 1. All right, so step 2 is to add the new fractions. Okay, so we're going to take our new fractions 3 and 9 twelfths plus 2 and 8 twelfths and we're going to add those like normal. So um, 9 plus 8 is 17. 12 is our denominator. We don't need to add 12 together. We need to keep our denominator the same. So we're going to keep that as 12. Okay. In this step, I'm also going to add, um, add new fractions and whole numbers. So when I add the whole numbers, 3 plus 2, that gets me five. Okay, so hopefully you notice that this fraction does not look right. We have a whole number and we have a improper fraction. So this is not the way we want to put our final answer because we don't want any Im improper fractions in our answer. So uh, step three is going to be to simplify. I need to simplify this fraction because right now it is very messy and we don't want that to, to be our final answer. So we're going to take 5 and 17 twelfths and we're going to simplify that. So let's look first just at the improper fraction of 17 twelfths. 
and we're going to change 17 twelfths to be a mixed number. So we're just going to ignore this 5 for now. We'll deal with that later. And let's change 17 twelfths. Well, improper fractions, the very first thing you need to do is to um, treat it as a division problem. 17 divided by 12. So how many times does 12 go into 17? It goes in one time. If I were to divide it out, I would see that I have 5 left over and my denominator stays the same. So 17 twelfths is equivalent to 1 and 5 twelfths. However, I do not need to forget my whole number, so I am going to add to this a whole number of 5, which is going to get me 6 and 5 twelfths. And then you'll look one more time to see if you can simplify this even any farther. I know that 5 twelfths is in simplest form, so my final answer is 6 and 5 twelfths. Okay, so on the opposite side of your notes, I want you to uh, do these three practice problems. And if you need to go back and look at the steps that we completed in our notes, please do that. And I want you to keep in mind that um, as you come up with your final answers, I want you to always simplify final answers. If you ever ask the question, do we simplify? Your teachers will always say yes. Good luck.